listening to another episode of the Pop Punk Pizza Party podcast presented by The Barn, sponsored by BetterHelp.com slash The Barn, W.GG, Fired, KL Media and Entertainment, and Beyond FM. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong one. I, I was going to say, we've I'm been Justin. lacking that in the last couple yeah, episodes. I know. Uh, you've not been on the board uh, I'm near really as much. Sorry. And I'm Justin. I'm Keith. I'm Chris, and today we have Tom Um, Abel from the Lunch Lady Food Truck and Catering. Thanks for having me, guys. How's it going? Hey, no need to be all formal, Tom. We're (laughs) We're just chilling, man. We're excited to have you. My podcast voice. Oh, there you go. Podcast voice. It's great. (laughs) Talk a little bit through your nose. (laughs) All right, well, let's go around the table. Chris, how was your week? No. Um, Usually oh, geez, that starts man. a different conversation when he says go around the table. But <laughs> right. Usually we're not at Frankie's house. Table, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Frankie's Justin's mom, if you wow, don't know, and we <laughs> rip on her left and right. Uh, we love her though. Oh, we sorry, love her. Tiffany. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so many. Yeah, burps. so so Keith's wife uh, asked if Justin could not burp on the podcast anymore because apparently it's fucking annoying. It's a lot. Like I edit these things every week, and I'm like, oh, there's Justin's fucking burp again. <laughs> right, my Justin's guesses. burp. <laughs> so uh, we were here last Wednesday, right? Was it Wednesday? We were, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Our Wednesday podcast yeah. day when it's not Christmas season. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, Thursday I went out and uh, worked in Fredericktown. Uh, that that uh, event we did really paid off, and we were we got a lot busier um, nice. that day. People were sending people. That was kind of nice. Um, yeah. Then uh, Friday, food truck Friday, my fucking generator went out. Yeah. yeah. So I remember kind you of. Talking yeah. About so that. yeah, because I tried to get you to come help. Uh, do some or load it up, I think, or whatever. Yeah. But uh, uh, who did? Well, no, no, no. You helped me load it up at the <laughs> end of the day. Him. But he asked me I want, first. I wanted Justin to help friend. me. So, but he didn't. Um, I just, you know, just wanted to say I helped. If y'all don't know Tom Abel, he's the uh, he's the best guy in the food truck game. He'll do anything for you. And uh, my generator wouldn't start at Food Truck Friday, and that's He'll like do our, anything, huh? Anything. Just about. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's like our biggest day of the month, Food Truck Friday. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a busy day, tons of people yeah. there, whatever. And uh, so you can see how devastating that is when your generator goes out. Well, uh, two generator Tom over here has two generators. Two so generator uh, Tom, <laughs> I like it. He, uh, he, he let me graciously Idle. let me borrow his extra generator and. Uh, and then I broke it. I said, then that motherfucker went out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I, I started it up at like 8 a.m. And uh, we got to right at noon, you know, middle of lunch rush. And I lose all power to everything. His generator's still running, but the power's not there. And uh, I guess the brushes went out on it. And no, so- the, the reason was he was like, I think it'll go faster if I put diesel in it. And <laughs> yes. that's that's what he did. <laughs> um, no, th- I mean, honest mistake, right? Yeah, no, it but, happens. Uh, but so, yeah, I... Uh, I started Tom's generator at eight, went out at noon. I went out to my generator just with, you know, hope that it would start and it started and it ran for the rest of the day. And so I don't really know what's going on with it. But uh yeah, I was able to work thanks to Tom. And he so makes Tom. He, yeah, no problem. My and, pleasure. And, and I appreciate it because I got a pizza for him that day. You nice. did. You yeah. did. Me too. Oh, you did too. I did. You did. Yeah. I went live. Oh, he did. He did yeah, go live. Yeah, yeah he did yeah, go yeah. live. That, yeah. was, that was just the other day. It was. It was um, weird. So Tom yeah. wasn't there. What the hell? No, I, for, I, I don't do food truck Fridays. It's just yeah, my chaos cool. for nothing. Had a we had a we had a Christmas party for uh, Raider Mechanical. We did so. Tom, I was, we're gonna get into your week in a second. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was done and home by two thirty. Oh, Guests lucky also lucky aren't you. Safe on this podcast. Um, <laughs> you know we're like the only food truck that brings enough food to stay till six o'clock at food truck Friday. Yeah, Everybody I thought leaves at like three or four. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And uh, and so we, anyway, we had a, a pretty good day. I mean, we we uh, we did about a third more than what we did last year in December at Food Truck Friday. It was a nicer nice. day and all that. So that that worked out. And then uh, let's see, went home Saturday. What was Saturday? It was Saturday. Saturday. But uh, <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we oh, the went. Show. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, the show with the f- underground. That was a fucking badass. It show. was an awesome show. Uh, broke neck, right? Yep. Yeah, they were yeah. there. Broke neck always. Does um, fun. Audio Glow was there. Hell yeah. The sky looks cool was there. Yeah. Juge, he was there. Yeah. And why? She's all right. And why? And why? why? I mm-hmm. missed why. I didn't see him, I guess. I, I, see him. Right. I talked to him a bunch, but he I didn't opened see the, his... Yeah, he opened the show. So I missed he, him too. So he raps? Uh, he doesn't call it rapping, but okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what what rhythmic on, singing. He what does would, rhythmic what, singing. What would Justin call it? <laughs> rhythmic singing. Oh, so you're not ripping him apart on <laughs> with your rap? Oh, yeah, because of the, the guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um... So yeah, I don't know. They they call it something. I'll else. have to check him out. But I took yeah, that down by um, the way. <laughs> I heard it was good though. But uh, yeah, he's usually pretty good. 
But yeah, Broke Neck was great. Audio Glow was great. Sky looks cool. I love them. They were they, awesome. They're great dudes um, too. And then yep. I I didn't stay for Juj. Um, I'll do that next time. Sorry, I don't know you, Julian, that much, but uh, it was okay I'll stay for you next time. Yeah, Keith um, was there. I was there. I always stuck it out through the whole thing. I didn't yeah. win anything. Didn't win one of those lunch lady gift cards, which I got real excited for. <laughs> yeah, I was last minute. I was kind of uh, offended that they didn't ask me ahead of time, so just jump in and throw them in there yeah. on the spot. No, I, I think everybody lit up when they were like, hey, we got a late minute entry. It's lunch lady gift cards. And I was we like, oh, right? that, that got a way bigger pop than I than yeah. it needed to or than I expected. We no, gave you like so a seven like, week notice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, so Sunday, I worked on the generator, um, yeah. change oil in it, clean the air filters out. Hopefully it'll. I thought it had a fuel filter. It does not. I bought one and then realized it didn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, most of them do. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So that was my Sunday. The wife and I went. Uh, we took her to a dentist appointment. Went Christmas shopping yesterday. Nice. Finished out most all of that. So uh, I think she wrapped gifts today. I uh, I went to the city today, got inventory and prepped, and now I'm here. So that's my recap. What a day. What about you, Keith? Oh. Uh, so yeah, we recorded Wednesday. Um, my kids have been sick, so I've been like. Yeah, dealing with that a lot. Uh, That's never fun. You know, doing work, school, and then um, Sunday I was just watching football, um, and uh, the Panthers won. Oh, good for That's you. Second one on the year. <laughs> second <laughs> one on the year, man. Congratulations for that draft pick. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Bears That's, pick. Yeah, I know. I know. That is, you know, they should have called me. Right. Uh, it's, that was dumb. But, you know, if it would have worked out, we would have called it genius. So that's the, that's the name of the game. But, uh, yeah, and then I watched uh, Days of Thunder, a movie I hadn't watched in a long time. Cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and then I went to sleep, and I went to work the next day. And I went to work today. And uh, that's pretty much how those, those weeks went. So you reminded me, I w- uh, there's a new movie that came out that's, uh, I guess it's new. I don't know. It's on, like, Netflix or Hulu or something. But it's, like, a sequel to The Grinch, but it's, like, Rated R, a lot of gore. Oh, yeah. Uh, wife and I watched that like last week. It's good. I, I don't know. Kind it's one of, of those. It's like it was like it was entertaining to watch, but yeah. like I don't know that it was a good movie. Yeah, it's like uh, what Jerry was talking about the other day. That silver line that uh, I think he was. Yeah, he tells yeah, everybody yeah. He watch that movie about that. under the silver lake. That's it. Yeah, it's like one of those movies you just watch and then you're like you're caught up in it and then you're like, what did I just do? Well, you know, this past hour and a half or two hours, and then I, you're like, okay, I, I liked it, you know? What's that, Tom? I did that twice. I did it with that Winnie the Pooh movie. Yeah, I didn't see <laughs> Oh, that. The Pooh movie on Peacock where it was... I have not seen it. Was Pooh and Piglet ate Eeyore and ate the other ones because Christopher Robin left them in the woods, and they got lost and didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he went to college, so they ate them, and then he came back, and they ate him, and they ate everybody in the woods. That, that was not a good movie, but it was entertaining. I, I could not, <laughs> yeah, I same, couldn't same turn with away. this one. I mean, it was, uh, the Grinch was killing anybody that celebrated Christmas. Like, if they were wearing Christmas See, that's attire, how it should have been. That's my if type they were, of movie. If they, if they <laughs> were decorating <laughs> a tree, like, he was slaughtering that makes every more single sense. one of them. You know, they're just then, stealing the presents. Um, I'm going to ruin it for everybody, but Cindy Lou Who, uh, it's her as an adult. And uh, I fell asleep, but the wife said uh, Hold she... Hold on, do they... Who? Uh, I don't think so. Oh. She Wait, kissed who? the Grinch, though, and he, like, his heart grew two times. Was that. it his heart? Yeah, something grew. <laughs> Wait, who? Uh-huh. The Grinch. Who? who? Oh, yeah, who? Cindy uh-huh. Lou Who, you fucking dick. <laughs> anyway. I got it, man. Got it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you mean? Yeah, Justin, what do you mean? what's your... Uh, how was your week, buddy? It was all right. I uh, it was great actually. I uh, had my I, I didn't do a whole lot out in the community like I usually do. Um, but I had my kids out for the community. first time like after three the, weeks with COVID. <laughs> like he's a big philanthropist so or something. Out here saving saving like, children you know, and dogs. No, and just I like usually meals. At usually the I'm out and about <laughs> at events or you know doing a bunch of different crazy things. And this week I just chilled out with. How my many kids, times so. did you throw your raincoat in a puddle? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, so anyway, if it, go ahead. Uh, no, I'm. I just That's pretty it? much hang That's out it? with my kids. Yeah, we had a good time, and been having a good time. Still got my kids. Did I say I went um, to the show? Yeah, uh, my... I don't know that you did. Yeah, but I, yeah, went the, I went to the, the show. show too. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Keith. I got that five ninety three on the puncher. Remember? Oh, uh, did you? 
No, nah, but I remember he came up and he was like, <laughs> you should headbutt that. I didn't even see who it was yet. And I was like, oh, I slammed my dick against oh, it. Right. Somebody. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that Every was time Thomas I see somebody that? on that, I'm like, hey, have you ever headbutted that? I got the high score from headbutting it. <laughs> it was one of these days somebody's going to fall for it and do it and break their fucking nose. <laughs> oh, hey, you should be the first. Have no. you actually, you've never headbutted it? No, was, hell no. I tried oh, to get so Jerry. I, Jerry, you know, Jerry's like 8'10", 300 pounds. You know? <laughs> I tried to get him to headbutt it, but... Uh, his head kept hitting the top, the plastic part, and it just didn't work out. Yeah, uh, another part of my week was uh, I was off for five days. So uh, nice. if anybody's hiring right oh. now, I'm looking for a different job, day job. <laughs> yeah, so uh, winter listen- sucks for what I do. Anybody listening to this podcast isn't going to hire you. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, hey, do you have friends that don't listen to this? Yeah, I like, wouldn't put this pod- podcast on your application <laughs> <laughs> for work experience. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Tom, Tom, how was your week? How was your week? Well, uh, I'm going to start with Wednesday because that was one of the coolest things. But uh, I'm going to leave all the work stuff out of it because, you know, it's work. But Wednesday night at the Open Jam out of the Park Hills Underground, I played drums on stage for the first time in my whole life. Like, oh, I played my oh, teens. Nice. Hell yeah. And just kind of stopped and we've been playing out of a friend's garage and practicing, practice for like four total hours and put together three songs and down on my way I got home. That's the first time I ever played on stage. That was fucking cool. Cool. I bet. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. And Thursday night, same Park Hills Underground. I'm going to name drop that place a bunch on this podcast. Tom, That's okay. Tom actually love that. has a room. He has a room there. Yeah. He lives there. Uh, yeah. But we had nice. the Christmas toy drive karaoke down there. So I went down and hung out there for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Friday night was up at Four Towns watching my dude Gabe Corcoran play music. Have you yeah, guys yeah. heard him? Yeah, or, Gabe's good. Got to hear Gabe. If you haven't, uh, check him out. It's awesome. Seen the dude like four times in two weeks, and it was four completely like different sets. So nice. Awesome. And then uh, Saturday, same show as everybody else. Yeah, except, yeah. It was a great, great yeah. show. Yeah, except Justin. He was <laughs> yeah, yeah. At he home said, with the kids. Yep. That's oh, good. I was yeah. gonna make That's him somebody right. that guy. <laughs> 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 nah, he wanted to be there, and he was in our hearts. That's, oh, thanks. Yeah. And then I, I guess yesterday I played Buddy the Elf at the Park Hills Library for oh, nice. story time. You did a really good awesome. like you dre- like you looked good for I Buddy the, the well- Elf fattest, for sure. The fattest Buddy the Elf ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh god, Buddy the Elf has diabetes. He was supposed to be Santa, but they got the costumes mixed up and oh, he just yeah, went yeah. with it. No. Yeah. no. It was it was super fun though cuz Yeah, he had the curly hair wig on, you know, oh, little nice. hair. Yeah, it was cool. That sounds awesome. I didn't see check, it. Yeah, check out the took picture. A, I'll send you the picture later. Took a little canister of uh, marshmallows that were cotton balls and, you know, oh, there you go. That's good thing. That's good, that's good <laughs> shit. He's been coughing up hairballs like right. a cat for, I, for that, 24 hours. I don't now. know that I've had a sugar rush since I was a kid, but I ate probably 55 marshmallows <laughs> yesterday. Ooh, nice. yeah. Afterwards, I was I felt like Beavis. <laughs> that's nice. Terrible. Oh man. Awesome. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Well, Tom, it looked like it. Tell us where what why are you here? What what do you do? What does Tom do? Um. Well, I, I try to do a lot in the community. Not just uh, throwing <laughs> jackets on puddles. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, me and my wife run the Lunch Lady food truck. Uh, we've been going at it a little over four years. Have you now? Yeah. Yes, yes. It's crazy. doesn't seem like it's uh, been that long. <laughs> Yeah, you said going at it, so <laughs> it's been nonstop for four years. Dang, <laughs> my balls are gotta, sore. I gotta open a food truck. <laughs> you should see his calf muscles. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chad, you want to jump in on the fun? I got big calf muscles. Oh, oh, oh! I bet, got, I bet you do. Chad's got big God calf damn. muscles. damn. Jesus Christ. Hold on, I'm taking the headphones off for a minute. We're going to compare calf muscles. Oh, he's, oh. he's got your beat, Tom, I think. Ah, uh, we need to be on video. Oh, yeah. If you can't see, these are both impressive calves. Oh, they are. I would, I would right, say... I know, man. Hey, right what about right. mine? Yeah, I, big yeah. Calf. They are pretty close, yeah. <laughs> Dang. I got some big old calf muscles, too. Yeah, I've got cankles, so like uh. my calf is like the same width as my ankle. <laughs> so, oh. yeah. I, but I've got really big calves, so I mean... <laughs> oh, that, was, that was a good, good thing. Um, the other mic going, I think. Yeah, it should be. So welcome, Chad. Hey, what's up? Yeah, well, they can't hear you if you don't talk on the mic. Oh. We got Chad Winch <laughs> we got Chad here, Chad. Uh, is owner and pro- to? yeah, hi, owner up, and proprietor Chad? of you the Barn Podcast. Have you ever done this before? Yes. <laughs> 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 Many times. <laughs> so, Justin. Oh, so uh, oh, we're gonna. You interrupted yeah. him. Yeah, Tom was still going. Yeah, yeah. you mowed his yeah, lawn. Yeah, he was still going at it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I, 
totally lost. Four we years. Started talking about calves. Yeah. <laughs> I totally lost right my train of thought. Right after talking about going out. Yeah. Yeah. Four years. It does it going at it with our calves out. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we've been up and running. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's got That's those calves <laughs> for four years. <laughs> running. Yeah. Slinging cheeseburgers for most of that. Uh, and they're really good. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate that. Tom, what's the best thing on your menu? If you had to pick one thing from your, your mm. menu, what would it be? Any burger. I would say probably the jalapeno burger. I was going to say really? that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, the jalapeno but, but, burger. Hey, we're not talking just standard menu. We're talking specialty as well. Ooh. Man, the, oh, the tamales. Yeah. I, like I would scratch probably. Like made, real, like, mm, like. Legit Mexican tamales. So Tom's oh, yeah. the whitest Mexican in this county. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. His, his Mexican food is better than any restaurant in this county. Well, I can, yeah, I agree. So if it's better than the jalapeno burger, got to have it. Like, oh, yeah. The, the jalapeno burger. I, that's what I was going to say. I was like, that's my favorite. I only do them like once every six to eight weeks because they're pain in the ass to make. Well, I mean, you got to every four, six to eight weeks after doing it four years straight. Right, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's the most, like... <laughs> That was the wrong one. I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like uh, downtown Park Hills, the record for those tamales lasting is uh, like 11, 12, like 11, 12 minutes after 11 o'clock. Like people just oh, find yeah, out. Wow. It's like, it's like, I might as well be selling crack cocaine yeah. on a street is that corner. Your secret? Might be. <laughs> so you, it's like, like 1985 you, downtown St. Louis. <laughs> are you are you still doing like the Verde in that? Oh yeah, yeah so, for sure. So you mm. call them like Chili Verde tamales? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Chili Verde pork tamales. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, there. I've had I several. Know about that. I've had several. They're incredible. Um, I, I'm lucky enough to get a lot of uh, the firsts of of Tom's new creations. Yeah. And same for his, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. We don't live too far away, so we'll drop stuff off to each other and. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm gonna have to get in feel, on that. I feel privileged to be the uh, the lunch lady taste tester. Not the same. I'm gonna have to get in on that. And cooker of <laughs> the most incredible Thanksgiving meal I've ever uh, had. It, it looked good. We've yeah. heard about it. Well, it looked real good. And honestly, like this dude takes great pictures of food. That was one of the worst food pictures he's ever taken. Yeah, it, my was. it really was. Uh, that didn't show. That didn't show anything. Cause but it, was, it did show something. It showed how fucking ready i was to get into that that's plate. fair <laughs> yeah. like, i'm that gonna take this shitty picture I, and eat i did i didn't i don't yeah. even think i cleaned my camera lens i, I just fucking snapped it and i'm like okay i'm digging in like it was it looked like you took it on my phone yeah what it looked like. <laughs> tom's still rocking the iphone 7 oh, hey. dude, yeah, it, i know it, where you can fix dude, that it, but, it but. functions it's but, fantastic I get it. he he went salesman key. no no cover on that phone all the way up until like last year before he finally broke the screen oh, oh. yeah that's i mean that's gotta that's be impressive. a record that's yeah. impressive can help you out there that's everybody i know that has a cover drops their phone like 48 times a day it's like a security blanket i don't need that yeah there you go <laughs> I, I like the uh you know the thought behind that mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Not not as a person who sells those things, but uh, <laughs> you know, like, hey, you need it. Um. His phone's so old, he gets messages from Apple that say, "Get a fucking phone." <laughs> we cannot update. It's Steve Jobs from the grave. Honestly, if you have a seven, it's even more impressive because half those like would just stop. Like there was a major issue that Apple's gonna come after me, but uh, yeah, there was a major. Issue. I went through that, Ooh. and uh, oh, yeah, 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 I went through it. Gosh, it is it is years ago. Yeah, it was. Uh, Six years ago or so, it's been a God, right, yeah. phone for a and long time. But yeah, I had I had to go to the Apple Store and okay. they redid it. Had nice. a little chip in my screen then, and they fixed it. Nice. And this nice. phone regularly in the summer sits in his pocket in a 135 degree food truck. <laughs> like <laughs> it was. I mean, it yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, you know, it's lasted for sure. What else do you do, Tom? Hobbies? Anything like that? Or uh, just, man, a lot really. I don't know. Listen, I've been I've been hanging out of the underground a lot, hanging out with like. A group there that we're starting to play a little music and practice you know, the I drums just, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Just love music. I have two grandkids. Cool. That uh that's pretty well that's pretty well mostly what I do. Everything every decision I make is based around well, they'd probably think that's cool. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Tom, Tom is the greatest grandpa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's he really, really is like that's really the thing that I love the most and the thing I'm best at is being a papa. If they're off during cool. the middle of the week unless it's some kind of private event, it's because he's at his grandkids' school. Yeah. Eating with them or doing something with them. He's like he goes to every single he doesn't awesome. miss. Yeah, that's what miss. uh when you asked what uh you know how my week went, I was gonna go back to that, but that's been like two weeks, but I went and played Santa out at my grandson's preschool. Oh yeah. There's no yeah. rules. You can you can no, talk no, about that. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh that was pretty awesome. Tom's also a fantastic singer. 
Yeah. Really? Sing really well. I don't know yeah. About that. Oh, shut up. Tom. Sing us a tune. <laughs> on the spot. Let's go. No, no, no. <laughs> but hey, I've, matter of fact, I'll sing right now. I've been if to. You want. <laughs> I've been to many, if many. You want karaoke- get down. <laughs> I've been to many a karaoke nights with Tom, and yeah. he gets into it. And do do we want to mention the uh, the? Uh, oh, I can't think of the fucking name. American Idol. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's fine. Okay. So I like in two thousand. Four, I think, whatever. It was season four. It was the year Carrie Underwood won. So that's how far back it went. But she just had to beat Tom. I uh, nice. <laughs> I was dating a girl that wanted to go try out when they were in St. Louis, mm-hmm. and her and I and one of her other friends was it Carrie Underwood? It was not. Oh, man. not close. Carrie was not Underwood that <laughs> you night. Weren't, you weren't dating Carrie Underwood. Huh? No, no, no. But we no, went up, I'm and they were like, "Well, that at all. you can only bring one friend in." So I'm like, "Well, fuck it, I'll try out." So we get up there, and we'd been drinking and partying <laughs> for like two days straight before that. And we get up there, and you had to stay the night, and then it was like the next afternoon. So, Please tell me there's a video of that. The No, we've tried to find it, and there is not. Damn. But so you go up, and the whole thing's a scam anyway, because you go up, and they show like the big crowd, and there's like you know 20,000 people in there Most, trying out. Mm-hmm. Most of those yeah. shows like that yeah. are. Reality, it's bullshit, but... Yep. Pretty anyway, much. so I got through the, the next round, at, you know, and then uh, the girl I was dating that really could sing really well did not get through. So I went up the second day and went in front of the producers, and you know, same got through. But I was saying uh, "Suspicious Minds" by Elvis. Nice, right? So uh, <laughs> Nigel, one of the executive producers, was like, "Hey, you can handle what Simon says, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah," because I'm thinking, <laughs> what "Okay." What did Simon say? Huh? What did Simon say? Ah. Uh, well, I'll get to that. <laughs> it was pretty fucking funny. Funnier what I said. Uh, but so we go back the third day and get to go in front of Simon and Paula Randy. And same thing, Suspicious Minds by Elvis. And I'm pelvic thrusting. Oh, nice. Like this. <laughs> Just looking at Paula the whole time while I'm doing it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lot, right? And randomly, say the, those first two days, like they tell you, oh my God, that was so good. That's why the people that are like shocked when, they're, when they suck. That's why uh, they're shocked because they tell you for two days up there, like, oh my God, that was so good. Do that. Do and, that. And then do you that. got celebrities on the yeah, stage. And they're, and they're like, like, yeah, you fucking suck. Right. And Simon <laughs> wow. was, told me I was a wannabe comedian. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him that that really meant a lot coming from Mr. Bean, <laughs> <laughs> which was cool. And then, uh, then I called Randy Tito and told him he was always my favorite Jackson brother. <laughs> Thanks, Tito. You were always my favorite. So, so did uh, that did should Simon, have made it into the show. Did Simon look you up after that for America's Got Talent? No, 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 no. Comedian? No, well, I, I said that because that was right around the time when uh, what was that show with the comedians that was on right about the same time? I uh, uh, there was a, there was a reality show with comedians, and I told him that I was like, oh, I thought this was uh, <laughs> oh Last Comic Standing. I was like, oh, I thought oh, this was yeah, Last yeah. Comic Standing. I thought you were Jay Moore the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> did you say anything to Paula? Uh no. No. But the the funniest thing for me is when they're all about four foot ten. <laughs> I was like, Oh my god, celebrities are tiny. <laughs> I could never make it. I'm five eleven. <laughs> nice. Be like this it's Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger. This guy's huge. That's probably one of the coolest <laughs> stories we've had on the freaking show. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's awesome. Uh, Can we hear? Suspicious huh? minds. What? Let's hear that suspicious mind. Oh no, there. I I'm not of that. I have a video of it from Four Towns when it was Slaughterhouse of me no, doing I think it. He's wanting to hear it live. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Come on, like I have, I, look, I just, let's, that was the funny thing. I don't even fucking sing that song good. It was <laughs> it, like it wasn't good the whole time. I was just they were telling you him, huh? Uh, that first audition, I was singing. Uh, uh, the Longest Time by Billy Joel, and I could tell they were falling asleep, so I was like, i got to fucking move my hips and shake my dick at these people. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> oh, nice. man. It sucked, though, because like, you sign a five-year contract as soon as you get like right through there, and then you can't go do anything else at all. Or oh, so I thought, yeah. anyway, because I was on drugs. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, I can't go try out for anything else. I'll just give this shit up forever. Never do anything cool. <laughs> Fox he- owns me. You should do more shows and shit now. Right? Yeah. No, definitely not. <laughs> All right. This is as showy as I want to get right here. <laughs> is there anything else you do out out other stories? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, probably I could I could talk all night. That's how me and Chris. You <laughs> well, know, that's what we're friends. here for. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, usually we do the fired review, but this week we don't have the pizza to review. Um, yeah, I mean, I can tell you what we have. 
Yeah, let's do it. I would like to know because I saw I the the uh, the hint. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, and I accidentally sent you guys all uh, the specialty pizza we have this week. Oh yeah, that, that I looked good. I didn't even <laughs> notice that. Well, until you said you just wrong mentioned pick, it. I forgot. And I was like, something. God, I hope he makes that. Yeah, I'm making that. Oh, uh, yeah. That. So um, we did probably. Two and a half years ago, we did breakfast pizzas uh, one Saturday. I think we were supposed to Hell be at the yeah. farmer's market uh, in Park Hill, so it was going to be an early morning setup, and uh, and I'll never do that from here on out, that's for sure. But we missed it because I think it rained or something, or some, maybe my generator was down. Something something happened, we missed it. And so uh, we ended up going out the next day, and uh, we had two different breakfast pizzas, and they were all good and everything. And uh, this one is different, though. This one's a new one. So let's hear it. Let's. Uh, oh, i got to pull it up here. <laughs> so... Uh, so, so the new breakfast pizza we're calling the Wake and Bake. Oh, yeah! It gets garlic gravy, mozzarella cheddar, uh, scrambled eggs, spicy sausage, um, hot sausage, whatever. Um, that, that's the name of this podcast. Uh, episode, spicy by the sausage? Way. No hot sausage. It's hot sausage. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then bacon and a Cholula hot sauce drizzle. Ooh. Um, I almost went Texas Pete's. Uh, you know, to you know, a little uh, went Texas shout out Pete. to Keith, but uh, my supplier doesn't sell Texas Pete. I could have got it you. Must some. not be that good. I could be. <laughs> I'm just Cholula kidding. is better. I, I no, could be, honestly, no, it isn't. honestly, I prefer Texas Pete over es- Cholula after having it. Especially like breakfast stuff. Like, yeah, I mean, I get that. I do like Texas Pete. Like they have it at Huddle House, and anytime I go there to eat breakfast, like I throw it on that. Shit. So I could have been your supplier. Okay, well, I mean, can you get bulk? How and, much you need? Uh, like half a gallon. Yeah, the restaurant cook. Restaurant Depot has one that's just like it. It's Arizona Steve. Arizona State. Yeah, oh, really? <laughs> it's the same. No. Let me guess. No. No. Let me guess. You know, that's not an Arizona company either. No, no, no. <laughs> New Sometimes. York City. Because Texas Pete isn't even in Texas. No. It is. It is. No. What's it, New Jersey or Pennsylvania? North Carolina. North Carolina. That's right. Yeah. That's why you like it. You, you, you're in love with the Carolinas. Uh, you ever been? No. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> okay. So uh, our other pizza is the honey garlic roni. So it's uh, it's a pepperoni pizza with garlic uh, ricotta on it, and then it gets our uh, our hot honey and what we call fired dust, which is like the grated parm with our house blend seasoning. And then we have our hot gobbler on the menu this week, which is our sandwich. I want to gobble that. And named after my wife. No, oh! no, uh, Justin's <laughs> mom, actually. <laughs> Justin's mom, actually. Yeah. Um, so that's that's turkey, pepper jack, buffalo chicken dip, uh, dill pickle, hot honey, and Cool Ranch Doritos. That sounds good. It's a killer Jesus sandwich. Christ. That's a it's, good deal. That's a so, great sandwich. I don't know which one I want. Yeah, Tom uh, Tom actually got to try the first rendition of that, and mm-hmm. uh, we made some adjustments. Um, I always consult with Tom on a lot of my uh, my, my specialties that I come up with and uh, have him taste test first, uh, like we said earlier. But uh, that sandwich we almost got rid of. Uh, we sold it. I, we did it like three different times, and it just wasn't selling worth a shit. Man. And, and uh, I told Amber, I'm like, I'm going to do this one more time. If it doesn't sell very well we're just going to take it off the menu we're going to get rid of it and we sold it out that week so it was uh it worked out and so we've we've kept it on the menu and it's uh uh you know in the rotation anyway and it's uh it's become a favorite um over the past year or so and uh we'll likely sell out of it this week i mean we get people buying three and four of them at a time really hell yeah i I, i'm gonna get that breakfast pizza if you don't sell any of them just put Texas Pete on That's it. That's fine. Though. I mean, I don't blame you. Glad yeah. I'm working with you twice this week. I'll, oh, I'll we are. Get a sandwich and a breakfast pizza. I'll bring a bottle so you can. If you don't it. sell them for some yeah, reason, you know you've got your garbage disposal right over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep you in mind. Just, <laughs> just like his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> wow. Look, man, I can do a lot of things. I'm not going to rip on your mom while I'm here. Can't do it, buddy. Oh, she, <laughs> she, she, she's here for it, man. I, she's, I still she's can't do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and cut into the Fired commercial, and uh, you guys can hear from Fired. Hey, guys, this is Justin from the Pop Punk Pizza Party podcast brought to you by The Barn, and I'm here to tell you about our sponsor, Fired. Fired is a food truck pizzeria out of St. Francis County and owned and operated by our very own Chris and his wife, Amber Dunlip. Fired offers brick oven-styled pizza, iron-pressed sandwiches, cannolis, and more. Do yourselves a favor and follow their Facebook page and find out where they are in your area and grab yourself some of the best lunch around. And then we're back. No, don't, no. <laughs> no, do something else. <laughs> okay, we're going to jump into our Would You Rather segment, and uh, we're going to make it more mild. Last week was a, a train wreck because <laughs> that I, was awful. I, pulled, I pulled the worst Would You Rather questions from Reddit. Let, and I don't remember hey, the second let's, one. Let's but... recap that from Tom, for Tom. I don't um, even remember. So hold on. Them all. The one was: Would you rather 
have somebody what is it somebody oh, shit in your mouth oh, would you yeah, rather that was the mild one would you rather <laughs> have someone shit in your mouth every day or you shit out of your mouth every day uh yeah no <laughs> I, I would, I would shit just, out of my mouth yeah, right? I, 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 yeah i guess so i mean even the worst get, one from last week oh, the, you can get really sick off terrible. somebody else's the, uh you know fecal matter that's the worst fuck. one reddit really fucking delivered on the the nasty <laughs> would you i rather... also know what i eat and i don't know the one that coming out either yeah <laughs> last uh the the worst one from last week was uh uh would you rather Walk in, or would you rather have to watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life or join in one time? <laughs> yes, yeah, so it was up. the worst. <laughs> Which way would you yeah, go on that, Tom? I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and sit this would you rather out. I think. <laughs> I'm go take a walk. <laughs> well, well this we, we're a going more a lot tame. more wi- uh, wild, a lot more mild. Uh, more wild than that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get more wild than that. Yeah, that's that's so. that's. I was like, there's no way this could be real bad. And then he pops that one out, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like oh, yeah. Reddit delivered, man. <laughs> that's something. <laughs> okay, so. Would you rather be stuck in a romantic comedy with the with your worst enemy or in a horror movie with your best friend? Uh, romantic comedy, for sure. With the I don't have any enemies. Oh, I'm going horror movie with my best friend. Same. Yeah. On the romantic comedy with your enemy, is that who you end up dating at the end of it? Oh, yeah, I guess I should yeah, ask that. That, like, that would be, yeah, that's the point of the okay. question. Okay, all right, all right, yeah, horror movie then. My enemy is Ariana Grande. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, th- I think the point of the question is, would you rather be in a romantic comedy where your enemy is the person you're dating, or would you rather survive a horror movie with you didn't say your survive. best friend? Well, I I'm still don't want to go through that, so I'm still going is. rom-com, just because it'd be fun, too, right? I think the horror movie funny. would be what funnier. Is- with your best friend? <laughs> yeah, like I don't have any enemies, so like, there's, I can't Oh, you really... do. You don't know. Oh, you well, do. They're in me, like, I don't have any. They probably hate me, but like, I don't hate anybody. Oh, there's anybody. plenty of people that hate Justin, you. I guess I, I, I have all to the fall time. in love with Justin. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> don't but, you already? That would be tough. But Aren't you already in love with me? No. Your oh. mother. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, that's we were talking about the shirts earlier. We just yeah. have one that says everybody loves Frankie. Yeah, that's a good one, too. That's a good one. Or everybody's loving Frankie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I like the logo I made earlier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. So, so yeah, that one that was rom-com. So, everyone's going horror except for... Except for me. I'm going rom-com. Yeah, rom-com. Okay. Whatever. Chad, what are you doing? <laughs> what was it? Would you, would you rather be in a rom-com with your worst enemy or... Be in a horror film with your best friend. With my best friend. That, that, that's yeah. what I'm saying, right? Nobody yeah. <clears throat> right. I don't yeah. know. That's... All right. Only if I'm faster than my best friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Keith, what are you listening to this week? Oh, is that the only? That was yeah. That's the oh. only. Would you rather? Oh, this week? okay. I thought we were doing three. Yeah, I just, I just assumed we did run last week. It was couple, the first one, at least. But we did two um, weeks in a row. I mean, we can do know. more. We just have to come up with them on the spot. No, I, uh, I didn't have any more plans. I've been listening to a lot of stories so far. Okay. Um, and Knuckle Puck, really, just Hell back yeah. and forth. It's a lot of those two. Cool. That's been pretty much it. Uh, the sky looks cool, neck deep, and, <laughs> and, Ew, neck deep. and broke neck. You mean, you mean broke, broke neck? Broke neck. Yeah. neck deep. Oh, I was like, broke Ew. Neck. neck deep yeah. sucks. Neck Sorry. deep <laughs> neck. also would have been a good choice. No, it wouldn't no. have. Um, Fuck you, Keith. No, I mean, pretty much the same typical stuff. Um, I did, I, when I was at Restaurant Depot, I did, they were playing pop and punk music. Yeah, I, said, I told they, you guys. They were playing. Yeah. Uh, they, so um, I said the wrong song. It was it was Cute Without the E by Taking Back Sunday. Oh, okay. play, but then it was The Bird and the Worm by uh, The Used. Yeah, they were playing as well, and I was I was really surprised because confused by that because when you put it in text message, you said the bird is the word by the years. <laughs> oh, did I? And yeah. I was like, I, I don't think they sing that. No, no. <laughs> but then I was like, I bet this is what he <laughs> means. Bird, bird, bird. Yeah, bird's a word. <laughs> it was something similar. That's at least what I read I, at first. I, I don't know. It must have autocorrected. Yeah, ju- yeah. yeah Justin texted. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh man, what about you, Tom? What have you been listening to? Uh, well, I kind of mentioned a lot of it, but a lot of fantasy sports radio because it's just the playoffs. Yeah. So a little double down on that. Uh, a lot of Gabe Corcoran music. I'm gonna shout that dude out again. And again, if you guys haven't seen him, he's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but honestly, I put in uh, like Sublime self title album and went front to back on that for the first time in a long time. Uh, front to let back me, let or me back do, to front. Yeah. Do what? Front to back or back to front? <laughs> Either way. 
<laughs> well, uh, back front to back. If I go back to front, it gets in my balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that video that's going around that's got Bradley's son singing with uh, Sublime? I'm not sure there's more than one uh, video, but I saw I, that the other day. That was, that was pretty neat. That sounds yeah, awesome. Guy who? Bradley, uh, the lead singer of Sublime. Oh, I, I don't the, know. The old, yeah, oh, yeah. The died. Yeah. It, How did he died? Yeah, he. I guess he died the year his son was born. Oh, what, what was his said. son's yeah. name the same? No, I don't believe so. I don't know. It might be. I, I don't remember. I'm um, so confused. So Sublime? Yes. The original singer died 28 yeah. years ago, okay. right? And then they went on hiatus forever, and then yeah. they had Sublime with Rome, which was like this new guy. Oh, okay. And then I guess now they're singing with the guy that died, his son. Okay. Who must so, have been born so in the mantle. same year that he was that he died. He's okay, 28, he's 28 now. Yeah. Good math. Yeah. Um that makes sense. Yeah, so uh I yeah, did, that so that was pretty I didn't know that. I also um, didn't know that's awesome. Yeah. So, All right. And next we're going to hear you know. Whoa. Oh, oh, what am I listening to? That's yeah, what we don't really to? care, but like really? it would yes. just be weird if you didn't say Somebody it. It's just been pop punk Christmas songs all all like week. New Found Glory. Yeah, they have a Christmas album. Yeah, that's pretty pretty great. Well, I've just been going through a whole playlist. So uh, Chris, he, they've been on there. When Chris pulled up the other day, he was listening to uh, Taylor Swift Christmas. Oh yeah, sure I was. He, you no, know, you were. Oh, was I? <laughs> uh, what was it? Oh, when I pulled up at uh, T-Mobile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the wife was in the car. I went into the store, came back out with Keith, and uh, I guess that that's what was playing. Cause I she's guess that's what was playing. One hundred two point yeah, five, was... pretty much the whole uh, the last two months. It's okay, man. Be a Swifty. I'm not. A I am at all. I know you are. It's weird. There's nothing wrong with it. It's okay. very weird. Your Dude, obsession. How is it? Swift how is it is weird? weird? She is amazing. I she's. Eh. I mean, I don't know if amazing. She's smart and she's pretty talented. Yeah, I but mean, she's a yeah. great as far as like a business person. Is excellent. Terrible. Probably probably none better in the yeah. country. Terrible taste in men, but uh, right. yeah, you yeah. Know. <laughs> she's completely changed football this year. I, At least not, the Chiefs. I, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, but Christmas music, I left that out. I've been listening to a lot of Christmas music, too. Yeah. I'm a Nat King Cole Christmas <clears throat> guy. Oh, okay. Like the, well, the, old, of... the old classic. Hold on, Tom. What's your favorite three Christmas movies? Uh, Elf. Okay. Nice. Uh, which, you know, after playing Buddy the Elf, like that, that's, you know, it's... Uh, on brand? Well, yeah. This is hands <laughs> down. It decided that's my favorite Christmas movie. But <laughs> Christmas Vacation and Home Alone. Both, nice. both three nice. grades. Great. Yeah, 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 they were both in the That's poll. why, like, you guys is your, you guys is Yeah, they're poll. all split up, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was totally split so, up. Yeah. There was no right answer for me on either one of those, yeah. but Elf was the top <laughs> but, one. But let, let's let's have a look at that poll right now. Okay. Oh, Chris, yeah. is, Chris is destroying us. <laughs> let's look at Chris, wants, Chris wants to look at polls. Yeah, yeah, let's look at Chris's poll. I do. We're looking at my poll. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, so, who's losing, though? I got slaughtered. Yeah. You picked Die Hard. So, which is a Christmas mm, movie? It's, it's got, not even it's a got, good movie. It's got 228 votes right now, and I've got 110 of them. Which one was yours? <laughs> uh, mine was Christmas Story, The Santa Claus, and The Grinch. I've never seen The Christmas Story. It's Christmas overrated. Story. Really? I, yeah, I'll, and I never will. It's, it's overrated. It's not the greatest Christmas movie in the world, but there's no, this. No, that's Elf the, and Christmas Vacation. Yes. Like, yeah, 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 Christmas one or two right there. And I was going to pick that before Bill picked that last week. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, but there's the nostalgia that goes with it. You know, I've watched it since I was a kid, so, mm-hmm. uh, yep. you know, that. And, and there's a lot of funny uh, little things like the leg lamp and all that that you see around Christmas time. And so that's why I picked that one, um, the Santa Claus. That's a great one. I, I love all great. those, Classic. honestly. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, they're all great. Um, and then the Grinch. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Grinch. Nope. Yeah. Um, Especially with that new one that came out, apparently. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm going to have to check that yeah. out. It's, so watch it with the kids. I mean, it's not. <laughs> it's kidding. like if you want to like, give them nightmares, but, but it's like comical, gory. You know what I mean? Oh, it's no, not I like I don't think they're ready for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think Jordan might be. Maybe uh, not she'd COVID. want to, but she's she's actually scared more scared than COVID. Oh really? Yeah, how, but she, that's how my oldest nine? is too. Yeah, she's nine. Or uh, she will be. And COVID. Yeah, Coast she will five? be nine on the 29th. Coast five, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, but. But Cove's the brave, you know. Yeah, he's the brave one. Jordan's like, I love it and stuff like that. I'm like, you've never seen it, but uh, <laughs> have um, any of you seen the Adult Swim Yule Log movie? I've not. No. Yeah, that that check that out. Same. It's like that Winnie the Pooh and like the Grinch one. Totally fucked up. Same thing. <laughs> okay. Got into it and like. The first five minutes of it is just the Yule log. I'm like, well, this is fucking stupid. Speaking of Adult <laughs> and then Swim, it all turns. Yeah, speaking of speaking Adult, of adult swim, swim, be on the oh, lookout yeah. for an Good interview God. with. 
Frylock. Frylock. Yeah. 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 yeah Chad. Yeah, that's Chad fucking awesome, man. Be doing a uh, interview with uh, Frylock for that's which podcast is that going on? All of them. Oh, okay, going on cool. all of them. Yeah. So, and you're interviewing Jay Muse from Jay and Silent Bob on the same day, right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. yeah. So, those happen wow. tomorrow. Those yeah. so we can talk about it because the podcast won't be released until Christmas. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Those are, uh, you know, both really awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a pretty cool accomplishment. It's a pretty fetch. Right. So, we talked about Keith's love for Taylor Swift, uh, which makes no. me think he needs to be evaluated. So, so on that note, no, let's, let's even, go ahead and hear from our sponsors, BetterHelp and Beyond FM. It doesn't even make sense, Dustin. Whatever. Hey, guys, it's Justin, and I'm here to talk about mental health for a minute. Just like it's important to work out your body to stay in shape, it's also just as important to work out your brain. Let's face it, mental health just isn't talked about enough. Rather you're going through a mental health crisis, need help getting through something, or just want to be a better you, we can all benefit through therapy. Lucky for us, BetterHelp is one of the easiest and most convenient ways to do therapy. You can do text sessions, call sessions, or even video sessions. All you have to do is visit BetterHelp.com slash the barn. Answer a few questions, and they'll match you with a therapist who best suits your needs. And if you don't like the therapist that they match you up with, you can be switched to another one within a few minutes. Once again, that's betterhelp.com slash the barn. Be a better you. Hey guys, it's Justin from The Barn, and I'm here to tell you about our partner, Beyond FM. Beyond FM is an internet radio station promoting the best of everything STL. That's St. Louis business, music, art, and sports. Visit beyondfm24-7.com to listen to all the best bands around town 24 hours a day. On Monday nights at 7 p.m., you can check out Hatricks with Patrick and Doug. On Thursday nights at 7 p.m., you can check out Beyond FM Live from Pops with T-Bone, Frank the Tank, Rustin, and myself. That's Beyond FM 24-7. The best of everything STL. Let's make local music famous. Just no. cut to the clip. No, I'm not cutting to the clip, so you apologize. <laughs> Kate, I'm so sorry. Okay, that didn't sound sincere, but I'll take it. Okay. I'll edit the, I'll manipulate the vocals. To <laughs> I'm make sure you will. Good, yeah. <laughs> okay, and the break is over, and we are going to talk about our very first live show. That we will have a flyer out for by the time oh, I we were going to talk airs. about our very first live show. It I was is. like, okay, I had to think back. And we are. No, I meant like the one we ever went to or something like that. Yeah, the first live show you ever went to. Yeah, the first you know, live show. This is at a hockey game doing... with the urge. No, well, that was they didn't play. <laughs> they played hockey. They didn't play. Uh, oh, you know, oh, music. I didn't know that. Yeah, they the whole time music. I'm thinking they. You played... guys say I didn't no, know shit. No, they <laughs> played. Uh, they played hockey against the crew from the point. I'm just curious to hear about this now. Like, what was your first live show? Oh gosh. Okay. Well, are we counting? Sorry. Are we we'll counting? Uh, are, are we counting pennies for Allah in Bonter Church parking lot? No. <laughs> pennies for Allah? Do you remember that? No. I don't. Oh man, like, back like my freshman. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. What's that? I got the CD over there. Oh, you got the CD over Is there. Is that a Muslim band or? No, it was a local band. I don't. I, I was. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't like a fan of them. I just happened to be uh, like a lot of people rode bikes in that parking lot. There was a couple ramps and stuff, so I, I was you. over there when it happened. But actually, my first uh, concert was a country concert. Hey, mine too. Um, it was uh, Toby Keith and Montgomery Gentry, and oh. then there was a couple others. I don't remember. I got the tickets given to me um, right when I first started in the car business. Amber was like, seven. "That was your first live show." Yeah. Did you get a cure on that day? A what? A cure what? on that day? What? It, did you get a cure on that day? Cure, cure on. It's their Bible. It's oh, the Quran. The Quran. The Quran. Oh, the Quran. <laughs> like, that one. Holy shit! Man, I really. Again, that was like five uh, minutes ago. He's talking about something totally different. I'm talking about a country show. Oh, Holy I thought you were shit. still talking he's, about that one. No, no, he was the, thinking about it so that, long. That, that, <laughs> the, pennies, the pennies for aloe thing didn't count. Oh. Um, yeah, see, yeah, that's yeah. why I thought it was Muslim. It. Justin's but, been thinking oh, about wait, saying we might that. have. <laughs> wait, actually, we, <laughs> Justin's been building up for five minutes with that punchline. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's like normal, though. Listen to me, you guys. God damn it. Anyway, I'll, I'll anyway, it. I was, uh, I was, I just started out in the car business, and Amber was pregnant with our daughter, and uh, she was probably seven, eight months pregnant, something like that, and she was a huge country music fan, and uh, one of the dealers had some extra tickets. And they offered me some. Uh, they were lawn seats at the. Uh, Riverport. Riverport. I, 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 it might have been. I don't know that it, it was probably wasn't River. Riverport. I think it was then. whatever was after Riverport. Verizon. Is it? What is it now? I don't know. It's not it's Hollywood. Hollywood now, is isn't it? it? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, whatever. I think it was Verizon. Yeah, it was Verizon. Point. I think. Um, but anyway, yeah. So we got those, and uh, the whole time Toby Keith's like trying to get chicks to go back to his trailer, like in the middle of different songs or in between songs. You know, mm. I thought that was kind of weird because he's Toby Keith. He shouldn't have to ask. <laughs> well, but he should because he's fucking Toby Keith. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. True. But it was it just this was post nine eleven, so Toby uh, Keith was awful. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, also so. awful pre nine eleven. I, I yeah. won't know. He, yeah. he should have been a Cowboys jam. I <laughs> mean, he's he's got it, some it good ones. It is a nineties hit. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's got some good ones, but after he went all patriotic, it was just yeah. not good. Anybody that tried to make money off that just sucks um, oh, as, a, per- sure. as a person. Sure. Yeah, I as agree. As a human being. But my first rock cock con- Oh, excuse <laughs> Your me? Your first rock cock? My Your first rock, 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 rock cock con- con- <laughs> Tell us about that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, my first rock concert was oh. Rob Zombie Oh. at uh, the pageant. Nice. And nice. on a hell of a show. Someone give you those tickets? Uh, I want them. <laughs> <laughs> I want them off the point. I uh, yeah, it was uh, that was that was the year my daughter was born. So that was like a year later after the Toby. Oh, King you were just like I'm gonna see all these concerts. Did it now. happen because of that concert? No. Oh <laughs> no. Uh, my wife what? was pregnant during that. Oh Toby okay. Case. Yeah. You you were thinking about that punchline so long. You missed <laughs> every fucking thing I said. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and he he's doesn't. Like, he's he's anything. I'm gonna get him good. And he doesn't know how babies good. work. And he doesn't know how to make them. So. He's like, I don't know about the birds and the bees. And Can I they get pronounce... more pregnant if <laughs> he's like, I can't pronounce Quran. But uh, there's three of them in there now. This punchline's gonna be great. <laughs> Wow. All right, yeah, more Justin, content, so, uh, baby, more content. So, yeah, Boy. let's rewind. Listen to that again, Justin, and uh, then you can talk. <laughs> yeah. So what was your first live show? My first live show was, I don't remember which one, but it was a point it's fest. Weird. Uh, oh. Because there's been so many of them. No, I mean, I, was yeah, I think you remember your first, though. Um, no, I remember which one it is. I don't, or I, I don't remember which Point Fest it you was. You know which band it is. Okay. Yeah, all the bands all that were on. Well, not all of them, but uh, the ones that I remember specifically were Framing Hanley, which I've mentioned that show before. Was that um, a Point Fest? Yeah. I think I, I was there. The, I I the first that time Whoa, that Framing Hanley... <laughs> the first kidding. time Framing Hanley played in St. Louis was that Point Fest, and I got to play with them for their very last St. Louis show. So that's why that band hmm. has a lot of, uh, like, uh, I love them so much. Um, anyway, uh, Sick Puppy played, Ludo. Yeah. yeah, the Sick Puppies, they were Australian, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or they probably still L- are Ludo's Australian. Good. Ludo. Yeah, Ludo um, was there. Yeah, that, I was at Greek the, Fire. That was like Point Fest 21 or some shit. Something like that. Yeah, yeah Taking Back Sunday yeah, played. Taking Back Sunday was there. The Offspring headlined. The Used was there, weren't they? They were not. They weren't? Wait, oh. yeah, yes, they were. They, yes, were. they were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so was, that was actually my very first uh, Offspring concert, too, and that's the band I've seen that was the more one than Offspring. any other band hmm. live. I've probably seen them like seven times now. That's that's the one Offspring headlined, right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, we were at that same one. Wow. I, I mean, I was like, I'm, I'm way older than you guys, man. Point <laughs> Fest 21. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm still like eight years old. I was like, I helped so. play in Point right. Fest 1. I saw Johnny Cash when he was just getting big. Is that what he was? <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, no. Conway. No, no, I was, I was, you know, at point when you were thinking, I was like, maybe it was like Point Fest 5 or something. That's, <laughs> so when, I was, that's when I was going I to Point Fest. Born yet. What, what was your, your first concert? My first concert was uh, Weezer. And, uh, Solid choice. Not really. Yeah, I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to be mean. Some no, no, no. It, I mean, it was it was like just post Blue Album uh, Weezer, so it was still. I don't. Okay. No, like I Matt Sharp the... Weezer. I really don't care for him since Matt Sharp left the group. But yeah, Weezer and that dog, and I don't even remember the other band. My wife was watching a movie when I left. The head Rivers was in it. Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't know what it was, but it was uh, probably some Christmas movie. I'm sure, but mm. it was. Uh, yeah, it was Rivers acting. It was strange. Really. Yeah. Yeah. That one of my my like best friend most of my life named his son Broderick Rivers. Like he named him after Rivers Cuomo. He's like a total Weezer fanboy. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, forget what I said. <laughs> no, 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 just Did you say your first I, show? Uh, I haven't. No. Okay. What What was your oh, first? So show? my very first one. Um, was Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Oh, like, and, I was and you were making fun like, of Weezer. So hold on. So I, <laughs> was that like 1998? No, yeah, I was a kid. Yeah, I was a kid. So, and and Tim McGraw had some jams in the nineties. He really I, did. I mean, yeah, like uh, this was before Faith Hill and Tim McGraw were married. So like this was early. But that was my first one. My parents took me. I mean, like I was a kid. But like my first big show that I went to on my own over here, Faith Hill and. 
Oh yeah, guys. <laughs> was I was uh, trying to read your shirt at first. Like, what what are you doing? It says Faith Hill. <laughs> yeah, it's a Faith Hill hoodie. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but my my first big one was Coheed and Cambria under oath, and I don't remember who else was there that night. But uh, Coheed had just came out with uh, In Keeping Secrets. Yeah, as a pops, and uh, under oath had just came out with Chasing Safety. I think that's what the yeah yeah, yeah. the real good one. Um, it was incredible. But that was, was my first one. What was your first show, Chad? Ozfest ninety seven. Ozfest ninety seven. Wow. June tenth, nineteen ninety seven. Nice. I bet you got the ticket, don't you? Probably so. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere on on yeah. these beautiful walls. I mean, being able to recall that date like that, I yeah. Just I mean, that was like, <clears throat> yeah. that was snap to it too. Yeah, I think right. I think I yeah. couldn't even remember what yeah. number point fest I went to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Keith, you gave your duh. I knew that. We already went around the table on that one. Okay. You did so. Uh, Let's go ahead and talk about the concert now, since we trailblazed over that. Sorry, I thought that was a good topic. I thought it was cool. Was, yeah, was it, was topic. <laughs> it was. It was. It was a great addition to the show. Um, so we are going to be announcing with the flyer by the time this episode airs. Um, our very first concert that we're putting on is also going to be our very first so, live show. <clears throat> Tom's but, playing drums. Chris playing guitar. <laughs> <clears throat> and the cinema story is coming back. Uh, the cinema story is n- not coming back yet. But there's something in the works with that. I yeah. can't wait. Yeah. So, Tom, if you don't know, the cinema story is Keith's. Uh, is that your first band? Your We're second band? We're never going to talk about this yeah, show. That's my, that's yeah. My, that's my big band. And, uh, not big band, but like the one that some, gets the most. They uh, got some good tunes. The big band. The one that gets the most. They got some good wait, tunes. My biggest? Like my main focus? Well, it was my main focus. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, my Justin, the show. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So, that's going to be February 3rd at. The Park Hills Underground. Yes. Um, we are going to have three bands. That's going to be Beezer, Feeling This, which is the amazing Blink-182 uh, tribute band. And then we're also going to have the star- our friends from the stars go out also. Yep. Um, well, all of their <clears throat> bands are friends of ours. but uh, Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Um, and then we're going to headline and do this podcast like we normally do every week, except we're going to do it on stage. Um, we're going to do some cool things like have some previous guests on Tom, maybe one of them. Yeah, I'm in <laughs> for sure. Um, and we're going to tickets for that are going to be, well, we're not going to have actual tickets. It's just going to be a door straight door fee, $12. Um, we're going to be broadcasting on the Park Hills Underground's brand new radio station that should be going live by that time. Um, yeah, Keith be... and I checked that out the other day. Yeah, it's right. really nice. neat. It's yeah. a nice it's video, awesome isn't it? There, man. Yeah. I've been in there a few times. I uh, anyway, I'll, I'll side note. Uh, I got to uh, when we it was oh, like God. two weeks ago. There was a karaoke <laughs> slash open mic night, and uh, I just brought my guitar and like just jammed in the studio for a while. Nice. <laughs> while people were on stage doing open mic night, so. Uh, it, it was a cool environment, but yeah, so we're going to be broadcasting the show live as we're doing it live in front of everybody, and then of course we'll be recording it as we go, so the episode will still air as usual, um, and that's it's going to be a great We're time. giving away some stuff, right? Yeah. Or, or we're wrapping we'll have some, off? We'll or? have some games. We're going to have yeah, some in. inclusive games okay. uh, where we're going to give out some uh, swag and some gift cards and so stuff yeah, from the places lunch like lady. The Lunch Lady. Yep, absolutely. We're going to donate a gift card as yeah. well. Uh, Bell on Wheels, they're donating uh, something, some kind of coupon or gift card or something. Cool. Uh, the Farmhouse Food Truck is as well. Um, and then I've still got to talk to a few others, but... Uh, it sounds it sounds like the the barn has some donations as well for that. So <coughs> giveaways oh, nice. that'll be cool. Awesome, nice. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come Pretty on excited. out, February third, yeah. Park Hills Underground. Uh, the show's probably going to be the most entertaining yet, I think, and uh, get the band a free concert out, or well, not a free concert, but get a concert out of it too. Yeah, yeah. Bane's are gonna be great. Uh, I've known Hunter forever, who's Beezer, yeah. and I had no idea he made this project. He's and started, I checked the, it out. The project and I was like, that. Todd and I are in. He did say that he, uh, he, Todd did some guitar work on it, actually. What's, yeah. what's Hunter's last name? Uh, Stevens. Oh, that Hunter. Okay. Yeah, 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 I met him. So, like, I've known him forever. I didn't even know he made that project, and he sent me that, and I was like, holy shit, that's fucking great. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm excited mm-hmm. to see that stuff. Um, and then, you know, Greg and Dustin and uh, Travis. Yeah. Uh, I, oddly enough, his name, the drummer's name is Travis. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. Uh, in the Blink 182 coach. Great guys. So. They, they put on a great show. They're a lot great of fun. Um, the stars go out. Some of the best people. Best, yeah, you think they were sitting around and like, what what cover band should we start? Well, your name's Travis. 
<laughs> Let's go with this. Uh, knowing Greg, like I don't, I think he's wanted to do a Blink One Eighty Two cover band since he was like six. But. Yeah, yeah, I've not met the guys yet. Oh, they're getting yeah. they're getting the Last Stanza back together. I think too. I think they've been working on some stuff. I was asking me. To, uh, oh, I don't well, know. I thought I saw some post in it, but anyway, Greg, um, are you getting the Last Stanza back together? Yeah, you're you're watching this. We know you are. So, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna also to interview them, the bands uh, beforehand. Uh, so you can check out those interviews in the weeks to come. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do some cool <laughs> promotional stuff, and uh, it's it's going to be a great deal. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, let's yeah. pack the house and uh, make this a good first show, and if this one turns out as well as we expect, we'll do more. Hell yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's it for that show. Um, we are going to move on to our next segment. Um, this one was actually pitched to me by Bill. Well, he he pitched a similar thing, and I kind of spun spun my own wheel on it. Um, so Bill wanted us to tell jokes, uh, like just have a segment where we we each have our own joke. And I thought, since we're all pop punk dads and we tell dad jokes pretty often anyway, um, we're gonna do this segment. We're gonna do dad jokes. We're just gonna call it dad jokes. And uh, so we're gonna go around the table. Uh, Tom. You got any dad jokes? My dad listened to, like, George Carlin. My dad jokes were all Carlin. Not really. But <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't listen to Carlin starting at, like, seven years old, which was terrible parenting. Oh, I love George Carlin. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, but, all right, my real dad joke, why do seagulls fly by the sea? Why? If they flew by the bay, they'd be bagels. All right. <laughs> 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 Chris is Chris is ready. Up. Chris is ready. Okay, so uh, <laughs> let's see. What's the difference between a dirty bus stop and a lobster with breast implants? What's that? One's a crusty bus station, and the other's a busty crustacean. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I actually have a third <laughs> one now. <laughs> I actually, I actually is it my got, turn? Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, did you? Um, no, oh, fuck. Hold on. Did you know that the uh, Twix both both of them do taste different? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the left one don't taste right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> well, so, this was underwhelming. Hey, <laughs> you know, I thought so, it was yeah, funny. That's terrible. So I, I, that's by design, though, kind of, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the best dad joke so I far. I think they're funny. <laughs> I have two because one of them I actually already posted on the page earlier this week whenever I found it. Um, this one was, they're both pop punk related ones also. Uh, why did the pop punk kid cross the road? He hates his own hometown. Ha, didn't. Anyway. <laughs> Shit. Did the wrong one again. Hold on. <laughs> four. Four. I got to remember that. Four. <laughs> How many pop punk kids does it take to screw in a light bulb? Doesn't matter as long as they're doing it with their friends. <laughs> but I just thought of an either even funnier one that I heard the other oh, day. I, I bet it's funnier. Um, oh, Fun, it's, it's funnier than those two? <laughs> no way. It's absolutely Get out of town. It's absolutely <laughs> hilarious. What's the difference between Neil Armstrong and Michael Jackson? What? Neil Armstrong walked on the moon and uh, Michael Jackson t- uh, touched children. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was good because you think it's going a different direction. Right. And then yeah. it's like, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say allegedly. Oh, I man. still butchered the joke, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. me. You expect it. I, yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. We do. That's true. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm feeling pretty tired. We need to uh, energize. So let's uh, hear from our sponsor, Dubby. The Pop Punk Pizza Party Podcast is sponsored by Dubby, a jitterless, powdered based energy drink with zero crash. That's right, zero jitters and zero crash. They offer a variety of different flavors, such as Palm Blom, Calio Cream, or my personal favorite, Galaxy Grenade, and more. Check out their website at dubby.gg. That's right, D U B B dot G G. As Keith always says, it's so good. Use our promo code POPPUNKAF for 10% off at checkout. Oh, that's well, what I'm saying, yeah. man. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's so it ain't easy uh, being wheezy, man. I just don't get it. I never got yeah, into it. It's I, just I a, it's really... a taste, really. You know, it's just not my not my cup of meat. We're back in, yeah. by the way. <laughs> what? We're back in, by the way. Oh, sometimes you just don't know, you know. It, since we're live right now, is there any questions in the comments for us? Just why are we hating on Weezer? <laughs> so, hmm. um. At, at one point, but not now. Yeah. Great yeah. job, guys. Yeah, yeah. The dad jokes drove them away. 
So uh, we talked about last week's draft, and uh, since this episode is airing on Christmas Day, um, we're going to do another Christmas draft. This one is going to be favorite Christmas songs. Oh, gosh. I hate Christmas music. <laughs> like, I really don't enjoy it. I do, it. too. There's actually going to be a, a theme with mine. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to look them up even just to... I mean, I'll, I'll probably have to do some research, but, like, a few come to my head. Okay. Well, uh, there's four of us. Let's... I already have 48 in my head ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I've got four ready to go, too, and I don't think anybody's going to take them. All right. Well, you want to go first? Yeah. Uh, my first one is going to be You'll Shoot Your Eye Out by Fall Out Boy. Are they all going to be Fall Out Boy songs? No, not Fall Out Boy songs, but they'll, yeah, there's, there's a, a common theme because I can't stand Christmas music. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go next, and... Um... I'm going to go uh, Nothing for Christmas by Newfound Glory. All right, well, I'll go. Uh, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. There's like six versions that I like, but my favorite really is uh, Oh Holy Night. Oh, okay. 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 I'll go uh, Deck the Halls. You just you just literally picking up I, random ones. You don't no, even have no, any no. real good ones, do you? No, well, I mean, I'm I'm trying to find ones that I know. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Um. Okay. Yeah. Um, my next one is going to be Merry Christmas, Kiss My Ass by All Time Low. Okay. Uh, Xmas by New Found Glory. We'll call that a Christmas <laughs> Christmas song. What was that really rapey one they had? Uh, Who? New Found oh Glory? <laughs> no. no, the one they tried to cancel last year. Uh, oh, uh, it's Baby cold It's outside. Cold Outside? Baby It's Cold Outside, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, oh, sorry. Like... It's Tom's turn. No, no, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> they sing, they sing it I, I'm not <laughs> picking the rapey one. Uh, now, my next one is the Christmas the Christmas song, the chestnuts roasting. Chestnuts roasting what is that on is an that open the fire. Song? That's called the Christmas song. Okay, we got yep. some singing out of Tom. Yeah. Right? That's all you get. I'm going right. Jingle Bells. Okay. Um, yeah. Nice. Is it? Oh, wait, no, it's Justin's uh, I got another one, too. How many are we doing? Neither Three? Go, none of you four. guys are going to pick this. Four. I went four. Um, hol- Happy Holidays, You Bastard by Blink-182. Okay. Okay. Tom? Or is uh, it? Uh, it's, it's my turn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas at 22 by The Wonder Years. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard it. Yeah, I know, I not many people like, have, I but I was I like, I don't voluntarily yeah. listen to Christmas music. Man. Yeah. Well, some of it's good. I'm going to name a tradition. I'm, I'm next. I, yeah, I said I'm, I'm in the most Christmassy Christmas spirit I have been. In a very long time. But nice. it's playing Santa, and I think Buddy the Elf did that. Just brings it out. Uh, but uh, my next one is Holly Jolly Christmas. Holly Jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. <laughs> I just had one, and I can't think of it now. It's a good thing it's Keith's turn. No, it's not. No, I just turn. went. I just said Christmas Oh, at yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm passing you up, Chris. My bad. You are. Um, No Chris for Christmas. I know. <laughs> Oh, uh, Dominic the Donkey, the Italian Christmas Donkey. Do you know that song, Tom? I do not. You don't know that either. No. Wow. Dominic nobody knows this song. Yeah. Dominic the Donkey. Dominic the Donkey. Dominic. He's always talking about Dominic the Donkey. I'm I, surprised that wasn't number this is one. Like the third I mean, time I've mentioned it. I at think. least. Yeah, it's probably. And I third. still don't know what it is. What yeah, about that Christmas either. shoes? Why don't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> what is that one called? Christmas shoes. Is that I what think. it's called? Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah it's uh, bad. My last one. Did you listen to it? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) My last one is Carol of the Bells. I know I kind of went to a different topic. I hate Christmas music, but I will always have a a love. See, there you go. It gets you, doesn't it? This is the Carol of the Bells. The draft, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm losing with Dominic the Donkey. Nobody knows it. (laughs) Sometimes you just got to go with your heart, you know. Uh, So is it my my turn then? I'm gonna go uh, Last Christmas by Wham. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it is. Wham's great. Wham is great. Tom, you like Wham? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I, no I, oh, well, you know. Yeah. Uh, man, I, I just I, I was thinking about Wham, and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, that happens. So I love George Michael, but, you know, it was the other guy in Wham that I didn't like. Oh. He ruined it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> uh, all right, not a Christmas song, kind of the opposite, but it's a holiday song, and it's the Hanukkah song by Adam Sandler. Oh, that works. Okay, can I do a holiday song that's near Christmas? Or I can pick another. (laughs) You you know what? Thanksgiving? Yeah. (laughs) No, I don't do that. Yeah. You want to do a different one? Go ahead. No, go for it. Huh? 
No, you're good. No, I no, got, the got, Hanukkah song. If you, if you'll accept the Hanukkah song as oh, an answer, I'll take it. it. We are uh, accepting here. So okay, I'll take it. We'll accept the Jewish, you know, holiday. Oh. I'll go Christmas. You have nothing against Jews. Christmas shoes. Christmas shoes. The one key. It's it's because it's the only one I can think of. I get it. I've Just that version that you sent me was bad. <laughs> Hold on, was that the, the was that FM the pop static or whatever? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was not good. Uh, well, uh, the, I think I've heard like the the country version. The or bad something part before. is it's better than the country version. I don't know. <laughs> I think the other one might be. I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna. I'll tell you. But yeah, that and one wasn't good. That's all for it. And so we will post this. I will try to get it up tonight, but it'll definitely <laughs> be up tomorrow. You've been drinking <laughs> Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> I've been trying to get it up tonight. Man, we really need Blue Chew as a sponsor now. <laughs> what's that? Blue Chew? Yeah, what's up? You don't see the commercials like everywhere. Never heard about it. Never heard of no, it. Oh, I have no idea. Can you tell us about like, it? It's basically like the blue pill. What's what's that? that? The it Matrix? Gets hard, man. The Matrix? <laughs> it gets your dick hard, man. <laughs> I don't know if Tom was joking. I knew what the blue <laughs> chew was. <laughs> I had a pretty good idea. Yeah. I, I think we all knew. Yeah. yeah. It's just funny to watch Justin try to explain things. Yeah, I don't explain things well. Yeah. Well, you know, when in Rome. Can't wait until my kids are old enough to hear about the birds and the bees. That's going to be weird. Why are you excited about that? <laughs> That's weird. I'm obviously oh, was not sarcasm? excited. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, under- sarcasm. I don't understand sarcasm very well. So. I don't understand. It's when you see well. slash s on Reddit. Uh, That's when hey, you know. I'm figuring out Reddit. <laughs> Are you you liking it? No, not really. Oh, I, man, I, I got on there the one time and they're that was brutal. it. Brutal. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't yeah, either. It, I still kind of don't. I've been on it for seven years. It is brutal. But yeah, yeah, I don't typically post a lot on there because man, people are fucking brutal. Yeah, yeah I posted nice. our first post on on there and they ripped or, you apart. Oh, they they're just like this title makes it me not want to listen mean, to it. Is blah blah blah, and I'm like. I read them. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I'm new here. Mean, like, I don't know what I'm doing. About, like, help me out. <laughs> somebody <laughs> like, said something about pandering, but that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I did see that. And I'm like, yeah, I could, I could see it. Yeah, he's right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's the point of a podcast. Like, we're trying to promote here. I mean, is, you know. Like, how do they know like, you're a schmuck through one post? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Like, you got to listen to the podcast to know that I'm a schmuck. I think everybody knows without listening. Yeah, that's true. He's got to meet you. All schmucks. No, no, not all of us. No. <laughs> oh. Yes, just you. Oh. Yeah. Wasn't that a movie, Christmas with the Schmucks or something? Uh, dinner. Like that? Yeah, dinner, dinner, was, dinner with Schmucks. Dinner with Schmucks. Yeah. Yeah. It was a fantastic movie. Was that Steve Carell yeah, and uh, yeah. Zach Galifianakis and Paul Rudd? Paul yeah. Rudd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat your pudding. Yeah, that was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's where that. he had the little rat uh, mm-hmm. or mouse uh, mm-hmm. terrariums yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah where it was a taxidermist or something for mice. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not. That was a good uh, one. Good Chad, one. any uh, comments um, at all we want to address? About what? what, Chris? On, it says, thank live. you, Justin, for not burping as much. No. <laughs> no, I was just going to say Tom's got a thousand movie quotes. Just yeah, out I, there. Buried. I don't remember anything important. No, but movie quotes, he's got them. Anything Chris Farley. Most things Adam Sandler. Nah, probably. I, not a, I love Farley. Do you do voices yeah. at all? If you ask my granddaughter, I can talk oh, like anybody, but yeah. you know she also does. Oh, dude, his granddaughter is hilarious. <laughs> She's like, a funny kid. He'll, man. he'll make a he'll make just a stupid voice or whatever, and she will imitate it, and and she'll like talk to me like that. I will walk in the door at his house, and she'll be, she'll be, uh, you know, saying, "Hey, Uncle Chris," you know, in this weird ass voice that Tom's invented for her, and uh, she's a blast. That that's yeah. one of my favorite things is like I. I do voices and stuff, as you guys know, and uh, my kids love it every time. <laughs> I didn't know that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. Your do kids you like old you? fashions? <laughs> I do old. I, I do love old fashions. Hey, if it, if you guys didn't know, Justin loves old fashions. I love yep. both versions of the old fashioned. Yes. And <laughs> yes. I'm with you. I'm with you, Justin. And Fuck then, these guys. Um, Fuck whatever. Hey, Me and whatever. Bill are gonna do some videos too. We talked this week. We're gonna do some uh, mix. Old we're fashions. Gonna make some old fashions. Well, that one stuff, stuff he had is really good in old fashioned. I don't know if you knew that. Yep. Great <laughs> in old fashioned. <laughs> Calluses. Uh, what? What calluses? I have oh. no idea. He oh. just said it like ten <laughs> times. It was good. No, you're not getting it. No, no, it's calluses for the other old fashioned. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay. I didn't know that was. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that was. Well, I, I'm. Right. Uh, no, was I didn't get it either. It, so uh, I don't. You, you know, I'm not a pervert. I don't know things like that. I'm Fair. Sorry. Not you know. my cup of meat. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, oh, by the way, we don't laugh at Justin's jokes. Yeah, <laughs> we, have to build we, it. we need to start every is, show with that because 
Sorry, go ahead. But no, the thing is, we didn't even need to say it. Yeah. We just know <laughs> it's not funny, so people don't laugh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is the shit on Justin show, after all. <sighs> that's all I've got for segments, literally guys. Do that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Is we that blew through them tonight. That's weak. <laughs> what? Blew through them. <laughs> so, uh, shout out to Justin's mom. Since we blew through them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just felt like that was... Jeez. Wow. That was, uh, you know. So, when in Rome. Cinema Story is going to come back and do a show before long? Yeah, what's that about? I want to hear more. Yeah, I mean, you you asked me to set up a show, but you didn't so give me any details. Is that, is that you and you and uh, Andrew, and then me who Andrew. else? Uh, just Brennan. me and Andrew will be doing an uh, acoustic 100, show. Hunter drums, right? He does. Well, Brennan's their drummer, though. Yeah, yeah but Brennan, Brennan ain't going to do nothing. Brennan's the guy, though. I can't is do he? that. Okay. I can't. They're just doing you know. an acoustic I thought you thing. said you couldn't get him, and they're going to well, do an Well, we can't, but, show. like... <laughs> I'm not gonna have somebody else play his stuff. Okay. I guess you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I get it. But if he dies or something, you know. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, but like, uh, so Andrew and I'll be doing an acoustic show. Um, Yeah, that'll be our comeback. That's our yeah. Yeah. That's that's our next endeavor. Yeah. I'll start working that on that here soon. I'm gonna promote. I really wish we could do it at the live show. I, you know, me too. We're gonna. um, We'll talk later. Okay. We'll talk later. Okay. I mean, we're not gonna do it at the live show for sure. Oh, but, <laughs> well then I don't even want to. We talk got to we you. got something else going that we're that we're gonna do. Are you gonna come and play in my living room just for me? Yeah. Hell yeah. Come and play. Only oh. if you ma- <laughs> only if you make pizza. No. Aw. Yeah. <laughs> so it won't you know it won't be like a real show, but it'll be acoustic, so it'd be cool. Yeah. Am I invited? Maybe oh. to the to the living room or the show? Because <laughs> like you can go to the show. Yeah. Well, I'm putting it together. We're so coming in his living room. <laughs> I want to come in Chris's living room. <laughs> you said it. I did. I did. Yeah. Regretting it now. Wow. Well, Winter room. Winter room. Win <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. You didn't say that once this whole episode. I'm proud of you. As if we didn't talk about fired. That's true. Fired so well, we good. We did a little bit. Yeah, we did a little bit. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to have that Texas Pete on my uh, fired pizza. It'll be so good. Uh, yes. Keep an eye out for a new merch line here before long. Yeah. We'll we'll give more details as we uh, progress with that. What was the off-brand Texas Pete you said? Arizona Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. So uh, it's it's not good. <laughs> not good. <laughs> it's really really cheap. Well, <laughs> <laughs> not to be confused with Texas Pete. It's, it's vinegar funny. and red dye forty. That's all that matters. <laughs> like the vinegar That's is it. what it's, makes it good. It's not even hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, man, anything <laughs> anything on the horizon for the lunch lady? Yeah. Uh no, not really. I mean, they, we have the uh, the Afro Man show. Not that yeah. we're gonna be working at that, but Afro Man coming to the park, back to the Park Hills Underground on January 11th. Yeah, that's a uh, Saturday. Unless, uh, no, it's unless a it Thursday high, night. Thursday night. Yeah, it's a Thursday yeah. night. Yeah, I won't be working that one. No. Yeah, Tom and I both did the the last Afro Man show, and uh, it's, uh, that was a good day. Yeah, yeah. that was a good day. We. Uh, Which they're also they're gonna do it indoors, but they're gonna have a uh, a bunch of. Uh, you know, a bunch of weed vendors like that the, the uh, Main Street Go Supply, Grow Supply is going to have inside oh, uh, nice. all throughout oh, yeah. the day that day, starting late, like noon all the way up to the show. That's cool as hell. Yeah, I, I hope we see a good turnout like we did last time. I mean, yep. it's not on a Saturday, but I'm sure. What day is it on? A Thursday. That's on a Thursday. Yeah. So he was playing in St. Peter's. Afro Man was playing oh, in okay. St. Peter's uh, on the 12th on that Friday and then contacted Jason, said, hey, I need somewhere to go. I was hoping I could come back to Park Hills, Missouri. Yeah, nice. I was like, wow, That's look huge. at that. Yeah, That's awesome. Yeah, cool. it looked like he was having a good time at the first oh, yeah. show, but uh, yeah. apparently he really did have a good time because he was uh, wanting awesome. to come back. I was actually, I didn't expect him to put in as much effort um, mm-hmm. as he did, just because he's, you know, he's an older guy. He's been doing it a while, and and he's not really, um, you know, making anything new. Um, I just assumed it was, you know. He's just trying to make. He's kind of bored from it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up, up there, going through the motions. It was not yeah. like that at all. No, Dude, he no. put on a hell of a show. Yeah, he nice. did. Stayed for like an hour and a half after. Signed every freaking autograph. Except for Chris's. Chris and got every up there. Boob. And he's like, I'm done. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Get your ass cheek out of my face, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, yeah, I don't. I don't stay for autographs. Yeah. yeah. The, the, get, speaking of getting the ass cheek signed, uh, remember the? Do you even remember this? The Promise Hero show that we did with. Uh, yeah, with Bobby. I was really drunk. But, I had him uh, sign my ass. Well, yeah. he was really drunk too uh, because he doesn't yeah. remember it. He signed oh, yeah. my ass that night. Yeah, I do. Why? I do remember that <laughs> because it was, it was it was just fun. Because Justin <laughs> it was, was funny like, to do. <laughs> like, you know, he's all about the butt. Yeah, um, all so about the butts. He gets it from his mama. Yeah, oh. yeah, I think so. 
but but yeah, I do remember that he did. Uh, we were yeah, we were both pretty wasted, and so I was like, I gonna you know, I was like, do it, do it, do it. And uh, were you you were sober, weren't you? Yeah, I was completely sober. I had to <laughs> That's drive. It's funny. <laughs> Well, that was everybody show. was getting stuff signed, and I was like, I'm left out. I don't have anything to sign. He's like, hey, Bobby, can you sign my ass? He's like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Bobby's a good dude. <laughs> yeah, it was great. He's uh, uh, that was, Definitely uh, check out The Promise Hero and Bobby Vaughn. Bobby Vaughn music now, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's got some good stuff. But, that was, Tom, were a lot of fun. where can people find The Lunch Lady on socials and stuff? Uh, a Facebook page, the Lunch, the Lunch Lady Food Truck and Catering. We have an Instagram page, too, but I don't do anything on there. Really, you know, just Instagram basically. dead, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, 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 yeah, I don't. I haven't even clicked on that. I have an account there, but that's about that's about it. I was posting to it every day for a long time, and it just you're not getting any interaction on it. I post for us all the time, and we get like very little. Like mainly, uh, Tina Joe from the Tippy Joe Show. She's the only one that really reacts with our stuff very much. So or you 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 asked me to mention this on the podcast earlier. So I was cooking earlier, mm-hmm. and uh, I reach I go into my pan cabinet to get a pan out. There's a bag of grapes <laughs> in the pan cabinet. Uh, it, as a result of me sleepwalking and sleep eating, I don't know how long it's been in there. I, I know I ha- those grapes were in our fridge last week, but I haven't seen them in there for a few days. And uh, yeah, I can't read what those say. Found a bag of grapes <laughs> in the pan cabinet this morning. That's, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's an ongoing thing. It you know sometimes bags of ch- shredded cheese. You know, I wouldn't have been. Yeah, we throw away a lot of groceries. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, box. Yeah, I, I'm. It's been my whole life. It's yeah. terrible. Well, I worked know. with a guy who, when I uh, a guy too, right? <laughs> when I <laughs> guy, what this has been like it was like oh five when I first started with Walmart and we had a party at my house and this dude passed out drunk. Right, we were we like unloaded trucks and I get up and my living room was completely rearranged. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! Like he sleep sleepwalk and like uh. I had a dream, I guess, about moving a bunch of shit around with pallet jacks. You did this? Or no, friend? I didn't. This dude that I worked with okay. did. My okay. whole yeah. living room was like turned upside down, rearranged. Oh, jeez. I would, he did a good job. I left it. It's a good thing you weren't into. <laughs> it's right. A good thing yeah. you weren't into feng shui, or right. It would fuck up your entire working life. with a jackhammer or something. <laughs> right. I'm an asshole, sore. Oh. This guy's a terrible sleepwalker. <laughs> Oh man! Oh I've, boy, that's a yeah. That's I've got some stories for sure on sleepwalking. That's uh, I've been doing it's a lot. I don't do that. I just uh, I apparently talk to customers in my sleep. That's about it. I I um, it wasn't until I was an adult that I I started eating in my sleep. Yeah, and and that's I guess that's my go-to. It's I walk to the fridge. I hey, stay away from the grapes. You can choke on those. Mm-hmm. No, right. Be careful. Yeah, it was uh, it was just surprising. You know, yeah. not the only thing I'll choke on. What's the other thing? I want him to be safe. He should know. <sighs> what is it? Dick. <laughs> uh, are you calling that's... me that, or are you saying that's what he'd choke on? Whatever. No, I don't get it. <laughs> same, same. I bet he wouldn't choke. The answer is yes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> I don't know. Got to relax the jaw. <laughs> is, that, is that the secret? All right. Anyway. Open the throat. I think that's podcast, guys. All right. Yeah, I think that's a that's a good ender. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys again for having me. Hey, this man, was yeah, awesome. This was a great time, man. Yeah, and yeah, you guys eat, it. Go eat the uh, go eat some burgers. <laughs> you were really a fantastic good. guest. You might make the cut for the uh, live show. <laughs> All right. Cool. Great. Love it. <laughs> yeah, you're in the round of eight. Right. You, awesome. you'd, be, you'd be in our top eight if it was in my space. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> How many shows have you had? Eight. Uh, oh. This is thirteen. Know. Oh, this is thirteen. Okay, this good. Is number thirteen. Ooh. The eighth yeah. guest. Sweet. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> is it the eighth guest? I, I I don't know. No, I just I threw out like I can't guest number up. ten. We've only had like three podcasts where we didn't have a guest. I just yeah, threw out eight because of MySpace top eight. I'm just, yeah, I'm yeah. Just, no, I. Yeah. You you'd make. I don't know. I'd, you'd be dude, on my I'd, tops. I'd, I'd Tom's just my be, I'd be on my top stupid. 20. I don't care. You're not going to hurt. If I had feelings, that might hurt him. You'd be on my top 20. For Thanks. Sure. <laughs> top 20 Tom, did you have a MySpace when it was a thing back in the day? I did not. Okay, no. you guys? Oh, of course I yeah, did. Oh, yeah. yeah. What was the song on your uh, on oh, your I switched MySpace? them all the time. I did too, but the one, I, I was a uh, huge Blind Melon fan, so oh. No Rain was uh, my song okay. on there. Do you remember <laughs> any of them? Um, mine was oh, yeah. a Kate Vogel song because I was listening to, or I was watching One Tree Hill every episode at that time as a teenager, and uh, she was like the f- cover page for MySpace because she was Tom's best friend or some shit like that. So I had a lot. I mean, uh, that that was about the time I was really into Hit the Lights. 
So like that first album hit the lights. I thought it was just gonna be a rotation of seven newfound glory. I mean, newfound, newfound glory was on there, but you know I had to, you know, I show I liked other stuff too. So there was definitely uh, a lot of Losers Luck, which is a local band. I was just really liked them a lot. They were one of my favorite bands. Nice. Yeah. Um. Man, they were so good. Isabella was on there from Cape. Because uh, that's how I like, discovered. That was like after my space, my mace, my space, my space experience. <laughs> yeah, after my. It my wasn't. Uh, it, they were they were kind of getting big, and they had a MySpace page. Well, big for what they are. Yeah. Um, big locally, and uh, that was how I discovered Isabella. Was, yeah. Was from MySpace, and I'm glad they're still kicking and and doing shit. That's yeah. cool. Um. Yeah, that's a podcast. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Pop Punk Pizza Party podcast presented by The Barn Media Group, sponsored by BetterHelp.com slash The Barn. This episode is also sponsored by The Lunch Lady, Fired, KL Media and Entertainment, W.GG, and Beyond FM. Thank you,